Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my review for The Cabin in the Woods. This movie, I say this a lot when I do reviews, but this movie I could not wait for. I really, really couldn't because I was skeptical. I really was when I first heard that it was finally coming out. If you do not know, this movie has been made, it's been made for like three years, but it's been shelved for all three of those years. And I was skeptical when I heard that they said they are releasing it earlier this year. I was like, yeah, you know what, they're going to push it back or something, they're going to do some shit, I know they are. And then, it's out, it actually showed at South by Southwest like a month ago, and everybody's like, oh my god, it's an amazing movie. And I was like, oh god, I can't wait, it's actually coming out, and it's out, and I love Joss Whedon, I do, I love that guy. He didn't direct this movie, by the way, but he did, I think, co-write it and produce it, but I love him. Of course, if you do not know who Joss Whedon is, he made Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Firefly, which is amazing, and he's about to make The Avengers, which... I'm pretty sure people are excited about, and I couldn't wait for this movie. I really couldn't. Let's talk about it. The Cabin in the Woods is a horror slash comedy in the vein of something like Scream, where it's very meta in style, where it always references its own genre, always picks out the tropes of the horror genre, and makes fun of it. And it's a lot like Scream, like I said. And the movie starts off with a five typical college kids in any horror movie you ever dreamed of, you know, any horror movie you've seen. You got the jock, played by Chris Hemsworth, Thor. Uh, you got Kristen Connolly, who plays the virgin. You got the, the, the jokey stoner guy, played by Franz Kranz. You got the uh, slut girl, played by Anna Hutchison. And then you got the smart, philosophical guy, played by, I don't know, some guy, I can't remember his name. Uh, he's really good, though. Everybody does a great job in this film, by the way. Um, and... Right in the beginning, uh, they're driving to the cabin in the woods because they want to do that because that's what college kids do. And things start going on that I don't really want to spoil it, but I have to because then I can't talk about a lot of things in the movie. The whole thing about this movie is that it's supposed to be a, a, this government, no, no, I'm sorry, not government, this whole thing, this whole a company that actually sets up the horror things. If you ever see a horror movie, you always see like, oh, the doors just close out of nowhere and then they lock, monsters come out of nowhere, there's always like some backstory behind why the monsters are coming up, but there's no explanation usually why the monsters are coming up. They're the reason why all this stuff happens, why sometimes a tree will block a road and now your car won't get through or your car is destroyed. This whole company does this and it's very weird it's strange it's very strange and it's uh it's very very cool it really is so these kids are in this uh cabin and of course things st start going wrong these two guys played by richard jenkins and uh, i can't remember the other guy's name but they're watching them they're in control of everything they're they're making things happen zombies are popping up and killing people and stuff and that's really the story it's very interesting it's very good too oh my god it's fantastic it's so original so cool and if you got spoiled through the trailer I'm sorry because it would be such a cool surprise just to see like what the hell's going on right in the beginning because it pretty much starts off with the company stuff and then you're like <laughs> Okay, so it's really cool. Like I said before, the acting is damn well good in this. All the characters are very likable. It's a very funny movie, too. Franz Kranz, who plays the stoner type guy. I can't remember any of their names, by the way. They barely use their names in the film. They always reference themselves as, hey, he's the jock guy or something. And uh, the, he's really funny. Franz Kranz, the stoner guy, he's hilarious. I loved his character. Uh, Chris Hemsworth is the jock, even though in the beginning he doesn't start off as a jock. That's the cool thing about this movie. It starts off with everybody being a smart, not typical horror uh, cliche, and then when they get in this cabin, they start becoming that horror cliche. It's very hard to explain, but it's really cool, and he does a great job. Everybody else does a great job. Anna Hutchison as the uh, freaking horror. Uh, Christina, Con Christina? Cr Christine Connolly? I don't know. Uh, she's burns the star, and she does a good job. Everybody else does a great job. Richard Jenkins, who plays one of the guys that uh, has to watch, he's great. He's hilarious. There's one whole scene about him watching this uh, thing that's going on in Japan and it's hilarious the outcome it's really funny movie with some great great fun acting it really is uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say really um, if I had anything bad to say I would say um, there's some parts here and there that it gets a little slow and some people might be confused at some of the stuff but I wasn't I mean it's a scary at time, uh, times uh, movie it's very funny it's very entertaining and just the things they do 
The last third of the movie is absolutely insane, and it's so much fun. It really is. This movie, I don't know what else to say. The Cabin in the Woods is absolutely amazing. All the characters are likable. It's a very funny movie. It's a very watchable one, too, even though some people might get a little confused at some of the stuff. And, um... You might get confused at some of the references because later on it does throw a lot of references with some of the creatures that they show. Uh, and really that last third is so freaking awesome. It really is. It gets bloody, it gets gory, and it gets inventive. And the special effects are absolutely amazing in the film too um, for a $30 million budget. I don't understand why this was shelved for three years because it's absolutely amazing. I'm going to give this a 40 out of a 40, a perfect score, amazing film. I was really juggling between a 39 and a 40. Screw it. It gets a perfect 40 out of 40, 10 out of 10. It's amazing. There you go. There's my review for Cabin in the Wood. Check it out because it's one of the best movies of this year. It's only second behind the gray. There you go. Cabin in the Woods, absolutely amazing movie. Definitely check it out. Thank you and goodbye.